Tornadoes in California, 50 degree weather here in January. Things are a little out of whack out there, but they're going to get back in line as we head a little bit later into the week. This right here is our estimated rainfall totals. You can see out around Urbana, Bell Fountain, that's where our totals have been a little higher, anywhere from an inch and a half to about an inch and a quarter in some spots a little bit less than that, like down in Springfield. Once you get out around Dark County, just to the north of Greenville, pretty much a quarter of an inch to maybe a third of an inch in that neck of the woods. But overall, things are still on the rainy side. Still dealing with those rain showers from Logan County down through Champaign County. We can zoom in a little closer here using the power of Live Dalper 2X. And again, just to the east of Bell Fountain, we're tracking some of that light rain. Also, out around Springfield, South Charleston, Cedarville, Jamestown, and Xenia, also seeing some of that light rain. And then, as we head west, some more patchy rain showers around Greenville and Winchester. All of this heading off to the north and east. In fact, this line right here, that's our cold front. That's where our winds change from the south to more of a westerly direction. And that's where we start to see those winter-like changes I was just talking about. Basically, all of that cold air still sitting out in the plains. That's why we're seeing snow out around Sioux City, Sioux Falls, Minneapolis, and Winnipeg. All of that is eventually going to circle on down our way, giving us the chance for some flurries by your Monday afternoon and maybe even some snow showers in there, accumulating snows Monday night in to Tuesday. But your forecast for Monday, cloudy to start the day off, temperatures really not going much of anywhere. It will be a touch on the windy side because of that big upper level low, and then also the chance for some scattered flurries and some snow showers as we head throughout the afternoon. The best chance for that snow will actually be Monday night into Tuesday, and that's where we could pick up maybe an inch or perhaps even two in some of our northern locations. But for now, no snow. In fact, our temperature is well above average. We're sitting at 48 degrees in Dayton, 48 Columbus, the same in Lima, and 50 down in Cincinnati. So yes, warm weather. It's still here, but it won't be here much longer. Current temperature at the airport, 48 degrees. Winds out of the south at 10 miles an hour. Our dew point at 46. So again, our humidity very high, but the good news also, our visibilities are high as well. We're not dealing with that fog. Average highs and lows, 34 and 19. That's your normal low. Today, we started off at 43, and this afternoon topped out at 50. So yeah, of course, this can't last. That cold air is on the way. Our weather checker is also calling in now with temperatures mostly in the upper 40s, 47 degrees in Urbana, 48 degrees with Bob Jacoby and Piqua, 47 with Jim Robbins and Beaver Creek and Judy reporting 48 degrees in Clayton. So again, mild, but all that changes tonight. Down to 33 degrees, some showers possible. I think by tomorrow morning, things will start to dry out, but also be a little bit on the chilly side, and that's why we start to introduce the chance for some flurries. Not in the morning. I think we're going to see a dry morning commute, 33 degrees, breezy and cold. But as we head on through the day, you can see that snow building in from the west, and those snow showers could give you a problem on the way home from work around 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. 32 degrees, those snow showers possible, and then some more snow possible Monday night into Tuesday. And even on Tuesday, I think we'll see some light snow as well. All that piling up to maybe an inch or two. Again, not a huge deal, but when you go from the 50s to the 30s, the big shocker is how things feel, especially when things are on the windy side and your wind chills are down in the teens and 20s. And for the rest of the week, yeah, back to winter. Highs in the 20s and 30s, overnight lows in the 20s. Cold there. I kept my coat, you know, I figure 50 degrees, just keep your coat on. Yeah, get it, keep it ready. <laughs> All right, Eric, thanks so much.